Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Penglam Quark Tutorial. This is the 7 lecture series of plant anatomy. Here I'll talk about theories of root apical merisem, which include apical cell theory, histogen theory, and corpa cape theory. Other than that, the definitions of columella, calyptrogen, and question center will be discussed in this video. First theory of root apical merisem, that is the apical cell theory. This apical cell theory is proposed by Hofmeister in the year 1852 and further supported by Nagel in the year 1859. According to this theory, and there will be a single cell, one cell will be present, and this cell will be the structural and functional unit of the plant. The apical cell theory governs, that is, it controls the growth and development of the whole plant body. Basically, this apical cell theory, there will be one cell, and this cell will keep on dividing. It can be anticlinally or periclinally, and they will give rise to different parts of the plant. That it can be the stem, leaf, and internal uh, tissue of the plants. There also it keep on dividing, and they produce different cells or tissue. Keep in mind that it is applicable only in algae bryophytes and some teratophytes. They were lower plants. And this apical cell theory, the drawback is that it is not applicable to the seed plant, which include angiosperm and gymnosperm. And this theory is both applicable in case of the suit and root apex. The second layer of root apical merisem, that is Hisazen theory. This Hisazen theory is proposed by Hansen in the year 1870. So according to this theory, it has, or the root apical merisem have three zones, which include the outermost layer dermatogen next to the layer that is called the middle layer periblem, and in the most layer pleurom. Keep in your mind that they are all merismatic. So every zone of a group of initial Initial, they are merismatic cells of plant. They are called histogen. So, dermatogen, periblems, and pleurom, they are all merismatic, and these groups are called histogen. So, the outermost layer, that is a dermatogen. This is a dermatogen, or the outermost layer, and it will give rise to epilibema. So, this epilibema, it is present in the young roots which have thin wall cells so suppose if this is a root young root and it will be covered by outer layer that is called the epilibema but in in suit or leaf the outer layer will be covered by a thin layer that is the epidermis epidermis it will be called epidermis but in case of root the young roots will be covered by and uh, the layer that is called epilibema, the outer layer. And next to that dermatogen, there is another layer that is called uh, periblem. This is a periblem, middle layer, and it will give rise to cortex, cortex, and endodermis. And next to that, pleurom. It is called the inner layer, and it will give rise to pericycal pits and vascular tissue. This vascular tissue it will include xylem, phloem and cambium. This pericycle pits or cortex mostly they are rich in parenchyma cells. And this histogen theory it explains both the root and suit apical meristem. That is it is applicable to both root and suit apical meristem. Third and the most important theory of root apical meristem that is the corpor cape theory. So this theory was put forward by Scoop in the year 1970. And it is similar to tunica corpus theory of the suit apex. This tunica corpus theory, it is only applicable in the suit apical merisem, but not in root apical merisem. So if you have some idea about this tunica corpus theory, this corpor cape theory also similar to tunica corpus theory. 
So corpor cape concept is referred to as body cap concept. Corpor is the body and cape is the cap. This is called the corpor, the body and the outer layer or which surround the corpor domain. They will call cap. So body and cap. Body and cap. The body will be corpor and the cap will be cape. So it is based on difference in the plans of cell division. And here this theory, that is the corpor cape theory, says that the cells in the roots apex. This is the root apex means the tip. The root apical direction divide in a pattern called T division. These are T. Somewhere here, these are T, these are T. And it is the division that characterize uh, between the corpor and the cape. If you look at here, mostly in corpor domain, the body, the T will be inverted. And if you look here in the outer layer, there is a cape, the T will be upright. This is one distinguished feature so, between corpor and cape domain. First, let's discuss what is corpor. That is the body or the innermost layer. So from here to here, it is a corpor domain. So in the corpor, the initial, that is the meristematic cells first divide by transverse division. Here it divide by transverse division. This division is called transverse division. And the daughter cells that face the base of the root that is away from the apex inherit the initial function. So here there will be one initial function. That is, this, this is the apex. From here, they keep on dividing and dividing. So it divides longitudinally. This is the longitudinal division. And the two daughter cells does not have the potentiality of cell division. They have the capacity to keep on dividing. And the daughter cells divide by transverse partition. So somewhere here, the daughter cells here, they divide transverse. Transverse partition. Followed by, after transverse, between here, they will divide by longitudinal partitions. Partitions that means between two cells. Well, these are one cells, and here another cells. They call partition. And when a transverse, these transverse and longitudinal partitions are viewed together, the cell wall form a configuration known as or resembling inverted T. So suppose if you see here, this is the inverted T. Here is inverted T. Here is so. That means transverse and longitudinal cells. They keep on dividing, and they'll form a inverted T division. So in corpora domain, keep in your mind the T division it will be inverted. The outer layer that is the cape. The the cape initial first divide transversely. This is a transversely and this is a longitudinal division. Look at here the picture. So first they will divide transversely and form two cells. After they will divide, they will form two cells. And the daughter cell that face the root apex, this is the root apex, it will inherit the initial function. It divides longitudinally, this is longitudinally. And the two cells thus form have the capacity or the capability of cell division. They keep on dividing or producing another cells. When transverse and longitudinal partition, so these transverse and longitudinal partitions are viewed together. The combined cell wall appears as a T, that is upright, they will form a T cell. So, if you view this transverse and longitudinal division, it is called T division or T is right or upright. This portion will be called the upright or T division. But in corpora domain, the T will be inverted here. It, uh, it is or inverted so when such division continue it is observed that a single row region is left behind over the double row region so this occur in downward pointed roots yeah, mostly it occur in downward pointed roots so the difference between cape domains and corpora domain is that in corpora domain the t will be inverted but in case of Cape, the T will be upright. The boundary between corpor and cape are not always subtly demarcated, mean not or truly defined. So this let's assume this is the boundary. 
and this is the boundary between corpora and cape domain so this boundary is not truly demarcated which means in corpora cape theory this boundary is not truly visible or not truly defined columella so here if you look at the picture this center parts of the root cap is the columella where here the cells are arranged in a longitudinal files and it forms the longitudinal axis of the root cap. This columella, the side, that is the periphery. This region, they will divide by periclinar cells division. That means division of cells parallel to one another. And when they divide, this the side, they will add cells to the root cap they will be adding new cells for the root cap because of divisions of the peripheral regions of the columella and keep in your mind that these columella cells they seldom divide seldom means this seldom means not often and almost never they don't divide frequently but at some point of time division will occur during that time when divisions occur they will form a inverted T division which we observe in the corpora domains so these are inverted T these are also inverted T these are also inverted T and this the peripheral sides of the root cap they can also divide it and they will form the upright T the T has normal configuration on the peripheral regions of the root cap which are observed in the cape domain so these are upright or normal chi configurations so that's it calyptrogen this calyptrogen they are meristematic tissue which are present just above the root cap and this root cap it is a type of tissue which are present at the tips of plant root protecting the meristematic tissue and it is also called calyptra so calyptra means root cap which protect the root tip or the cells which make up the root cap they are called calyptra and root caps they also contain one substance that is called stethocytes stethocytes which are involved in gravity perception in plant and the purpose of this root cap is to enable downward growth of the roots and because of this one the root cap since it covers the sensitive tissue in the root it also secretes mucilage to ease the movement of the root through soles and may also be involved in communication with the soul microbiota. So here, since the root keep on going down inside the soil, they keep on going down inside the soil, at some point of time, the root cap can be destroyed. This portion can be destroyed or it can be lost. This loss or destroy portion can be regenerated or can be replaced by one meristematic tissue that is called calyptrogen. So this calyptrogen, they are the layer of meristematic cells at the apex. This is the apex of the root tip that continually cuts off new cells, that means produce new cells to its outer edge. So calyptrogen, they provide new cells for the root cap. And this replace the cells of the root cap that is the calyptra the calyptra root cap that are worn away as the root pushes through the soil in case of gma there is a monocot plant dermatogen this dermatogen they will give rise to or they can generate the calyptrogen that is in gma is monocot dermatogen generate the root cap only and this is a histogen is referred to as calyptrogen and in brassica in a dicot plant dermatogen this dermatogen it can produce or generate both the protoderm and root caps and this histogen is referred to as derma calyptrogen protoderms means the outer epidermal layer so calyptrogen means meristematic tissue which produce calyptra or root caps which are present just above the root cap and they will be producing new meristematic tissue for the root cap that is the calyptra calyptra means it is a root cap which protect the root tip this is the root tip and this root cap 
or calyptra will protect the root tip. Question center. So this portion will be the question center. This is the term question center concept was given by Klaus in the year 1956 in maize. Maize it is a monocot plant. So here there is an inactive center, there is a group of cells or a mass of cells in the root apex, that is the root apex, which is having lower concentration. These cells, these groups of cells or this tissue or group of cells, they will be having lower concentration of DNA, RNA and proteins compared to these other parts of the cells of the root apex. And this question center, it also acts as a reservoir of active initials. So the cells of question center, they also have fewer the mitochondria will be less and they will be having little endoplasmic reticulum and the smallest dictoisum. Dictoisum means they are the plant cells containing smaller Golgi apparatus type vessels and smaller nuclei and nucleoli. And the question center is not found in the roots with single apical cells. So those roots having single apical cells you will not find a question center. And it is believed that the question center may be the site of hormone synthesis, plants hormone like exin, gibberellin, cytokinins, ethylene, etc. are synthesized. So some, some person believe that it is the place of synthesis of those hormones. And question center is regarded as central mother cells that form promeristem of root apex. Promeristem means it is a group of young meristem cells in the early embryonic stage present in the suit and root tips of the plants from which the other meristems are derived. It forms the primary meristem in plant. That is it. I hope that's helpful.